A Proposition 308 would guarantee any student who graduated from and attended an Arizona high school for at least two years eligible for in-state college tuition regardless of immigration status. Well, right now the latest updated numbers show the vote 51 of 49 in favor. Elliot Polakov is in the studio here with us with more on where things stand and the arguments on both sides of this. Yeah, and as you guys said, Derek and Jamie, it is very close right now. 51 mm -hmm. to 49, a difference of a little over 50,000 votes. Those in favor say it gives thousands of Arizona teenagers more of an opportunity to make a difference. Those against say it's prioritizing those that aren't here legally. This would be transformational for our state. As a dreamer who had to figure out how to afford undergrad at ASU, Reina Montoya, the CEO of advocacy group Aliento, gets excited thinking about more opportunities and resources for current undocumented Arizona high schoolers. Those 2,000 students that graduate each year that will have a pathway to education. And then on the other side now, like as an adult, as a resident of the state of Arizona, seeing how this can be really thriving for the economy, it, it makes me really excited to know that. Montoya believes the majority of Arizonans share her excitement. But she says people were confused with 10 different propositions on the ballot. And I was at the polls and I would be asking voters as they were going into the line or dropping off their ballots if they had heard about Prop 308. And a lot of them didn't know, but once they heard about it, they really supported. But Tim Rafferty of the patriotic organization Riders USA, which is against Prop 308, doesn't agree that undocumented Arizonans should get in-state benefits while out-of-state citizens have to pay more. This is against the law. These people are in our country illegally and they need to take care of their status. It's, it, that's their responsibility. That's not your responsibility or my responsibility. Rafferty believes current legislation, which requires dreamers to pay 150% of in-state tuition at Arizona public colleges and universities, combined with scholarships available to these students, is enough. Republican Representative Debbie Lesko says that oftentimes this combination ends up making costs for dreamers close or below the cost of in-state tuition. Quite frankly, I don't know that that much is going to change for the DACA, the DACA students because right now they're getting help from private funds through the universities. But Montoya says more than any lower costs, passing Prop 308 is about sending a message that dreamers are welcome in our state. So I hope that in Arizona we're ready to, to turn the page in having so much divisiveness, but we're looking at policies that could help our state and benefit our people. Just for comparison's sake, there are over a dozen states, including California, New Mexico, and Utah, that have all passed legislation offering in-state tuition to certain undocumented residents. Derek and Jamie, back to you. Elliot, thank